What's going on everyone? It's RJ and I am back with another video. Let's get into it. The mood is not as bright as I'm setting it to be uh, because once again, here we are in this situation. As you probably saw just a few minutes ago, maybe a half hour ago on Thursday Night Football, Naheem Hines gets hit very hard and his teammates help him up as a teammate normally does. And what do you know? He is stumbling and he cannot stand still straight up without support. He cannot support himself. He needs it from his teammates. And this whole carousel begins once again. Clearly, it seems like Tua had a concussion. I mean, what are the odds that this happens again? We see a player... Just two weeks later from when Tua had his first incident with his stumbling after getting hit, do we see another player experience basically the same exact thing? Just the way he got hit. I think he got hit in the head more so than his head hitting the ground when he fell. Um, I mean, what can you really say other than Indianapolis? Just please treat him right. He's a great player. He's young. Clearly, these signs show that he is concussed and he needs to be out and he needs to stay out. You don't want to go through what Miami's going through right now. I mean, this is a, this is a young stud running back. He's your RB2, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that he's your RB2 and he's not your QB1. Still, keep him out, rest him, and, and let him be. Let him get back to where he needs to be with his mental Keep him out a few weeks if that's what it takes because you don't want to repeat what Miami's going through and especially a concussion like that. I mean, I think these guys, even though they clear concussion protocols, there obviously needs to be more time spent making sure that they're fully, fully back, not just passing con concussion protocols. T -t 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 Today, Junior. Anyway, um, yeah, so... Clearly, uh, th this isn't going to end. This isn't going to end. And what can you really do? You know, these people are like, oh my God, this needs to stop. This needs to stop. Like, NFL needs to do something about this. I mean, what can you do? It's the sport. It's how the game is played. These guys know what they're signing up for. They're going out there, putting their lives on the line every single play. And this stuff is going to happen, unfortunately. But when it does happen, they need to treat their players with respect and, and have their own dignity and keep him out and let him get fully healthy and not do what the Dolphins appear to have done with Tua, who really should be out the rest of the season. I mean, obviously, I know he wants to come back. They want him to come back, especially since they want to save face. Oh, by the way, that doctor was fired. I'm sure you heard that by now. Uh, that's saving face as well. But obviously, they want to save face. Um, yeah. This is not going to end, but now I think everyone, every team, every fan, every owner, every player, everybody has a better idea of what needs to be done. Keep, keep Tua out the rest of the year. Two concussions, both terrible looking. Keep him out the rest of the year. Naheem Hines, it happened extremely similar to Tua. Keep him out a couple weeks. Let him come back. We don't need this to happen all over again. It's not good for the NFL. It's not good for the owners. It's not good for the players. It's not good for football. It's not good for the fans. It's not good for anybody. It's really scary. Keep Naheem Hines in your prayers. That's an awful sight to see. You never want to see someone get hit and, and they can't even stand up on their own two, two feet. I got nothing else. Really scary. He'll come back. He's a great player. I'm sure he's also a great guy. Let's not have a 2 a 2 .0. Let's Let's keep him healthy. Please, Indiana, Indianapolis. Keep him healthy. Keep him out. And let him come back when he's ready, not when concussion protocols say he's ready. So, this has been RJ. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. And as always, peace.